gave people information. That way... Anyways, yeah, that would be fine. Um, we gave people information. So, for example, is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. Um, we gave people these and a whole bunch of different kinds. And then, um, because then they weren't worried, they weren't scared, they weren't, we weren't arguing with them. They just took that. Now, that's actually from back during the swine flu days. But my point is that if we drop those off everywhere, then there's a chance that people will look at it and go, well, especially when the media makes people interested in the topic, they're more likely to want to learn about and talk about it, right? Okay. And so when the swine flu was all over the media, people were like, sure, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, yeah, I'm worried about that. Yeah. So we can do the same thing today. And this sort of great, um, scary, uh, uh, globalist possibility of tyranny could also turn into a great awakening. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Vieta. And stay in touch, okay? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Keep fighting for freedom. It was lovely meeting you. Thank you. Awesome. Jonathan, anything to say? You good? What is your okay? name? Okay, no problem. What is your name? Would you like to say anything as well? BK. BK. BK and Vieta. John, would you like to say anything? Add anything briefly? Just take over. So I'm here today to protest against the, what I consider to be the gross overreach of the authority from our elected representatives. They're not our leaders, they're our representatives. And I consider what they've done to be a grass overreach of their authority. You were here last weekend. I tried to read this out as best I could. The, the, the damage to, to public health as well as social health, uh, social matters from uh, proven to be inaccurate models, it needs to stop now. They're doing untold damage to our economy, to our social system, and uh, like I say, the, Ju Justin Trudeau and his Liberal Party, their goal is, is to eradicate the middle class and those working hard to join it as they, they refer to so often. And they're being aided and abetted by Doug Ford's government. And we, 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 um, we, we need to take back control of our government for the people. So, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Jonathan. Would you like to share your email? Or could I get in touch with you through Beata? We are married. We're, we're the same household. So. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, you got a lovely yeah, firebrand there, so sir. Congratulations, Ms. Beata. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice to meet you both. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at this. This has gotten a lot bigger. So this, this uh, demonstration has gotten a lot bigger uh, as time has passed. And we'll take a look at that. And then we'll talk to a couple more people about what's going on. Uh, there we go. your rights so there is some people over there and the bulk of folks are over here okay we're looking at a good two three hundred people here now this is pretty cool and seems all right there we go cheers all right <clears throat> Hello, young man. Hello, young lady. Hello, hello. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, sure. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Awesome. All right, let's start here. Ooh. There you go. Like I said, sometimes uh, we screw up, they got to yell at us. Sometimes they screw up, we got to yell at them. Otherwise, hey, back to business as usual. Uh, I remember during the G20 when they were all scaring the crap out of people, I had to yell at them, make them stop, and just keep an eye on things instead. And uh, sometimes I've screwed around and blah, blah, blah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello. Can I talk to you for a sec about why you're holding the sign and what's going on? Yeah, well, just your first name, if you'd like, or a pseudonym, and then uh, why you're holding this poverty is death sign. Yeah. I'm trying to show that 
sometimes left-wing protesters, not all, but a lot of them, they can make a racket, but they can't make sense when you ask them questions. But if you are going to make a racket, then hopefully you're making sense, and that's why you're getting people's attention. So uh, what's your, your first name? Yeah, Carrie. Carrie, thank you, Carrie. And your poverty is death sign. What's yeah, going on? Um, just the idea that the economy and health are not mutually exclusive. Right. Yeah, we need money to run hospitals, and people need money to stay healthy. Gotcha. So we're concerned that the lockdown is going to cause more harm than good. Gotcha. Gotcha. Any other thoughts or recommendations for people out there? Stop watching mainstream media or at least watch it. Take what you take what you want and watch some alternative stuff or some people who are critiquing it. Yeah, keep an open mind and ultimately you have to decide what's best for you and your family and your community and because you know that there are there there is a lot of false stuff out there. I'm the media has been exposed for I mean, just this week, Project Veritas exposed them for adding cars to lines to make lines look bigger. You know, little things. Using clips from Italy for um, twice, actually, to show, <laughs> to, to be used as to show ICUs in the United States. Yeah. Even when they were caught, they used it one more time. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. And and you know what? Everyone's still learning. Like no one is an expert at this point. So. Right. There's all sorts of conflicting information yeah, out there exactly. about this. I'm with you. Awesome. Well, Miss Carrie, would you would you like to share your email? It's up to you. But I'm I'm just emailing people about what's going on, thinking about the offline info war as well, where protests are great. We see a lot of numbers, but also reaching out to people, posters, flyers, and so on as an option, or showing that we get along yeah. to other people. Do you, I, I don't have a car, but I got manforwars.com as my website. It's down right what now. What is it? Manforwars.com. Manforwars.com. Yeah. Okay. Or, or, if, or you can scratch down my notebook. Why don't I just write it down? Sure. If you, if you write it down, then I'll email you. Woo. What is it again? Oh, you, you, want write, you want to write down yours? Or, or manforwars? I'll take yours. Sure. Uh, in that case, my email is uh, blackkrishna, B-L-A-C-K. K R I S H N A. K K R I S H N A. At protonmail.com. Okay. So yeah, no worries. Whatever you're comfortable with. I'm a polite patriot, so I'm I'm totally cool with that. But I know there's lots of people here. Well, there's there's hundreds of people here, and people are sort of isolated. I think if we can show we're more unified oh, I got it. Than, than most people. Then, uh, then I think uh, that I think you know if we can show we get along better than most people do, <laughs> they can ask us what's our secret. We don't listen to liars. We don't turn to liars. We don't. We're not all messed up by by whatever. We're looking for the truth, and I think as flight patriots we can make a difference. So that's my angle. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Miss Carrie. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. How you doing, boss? Good yourself. Not too bad. Can I talk to you about your sign? What's sure. going on? Sure. Awesome. So, what's your first name and what's your message? My name is Joel, and I I came today with a specific message, very specific. And if you agree with it, I encourage you to go to change.org forward slash set Ontario free to sign the petition. I'm asking for four things from Doug Ford in this petition. First and foremost, open all businesses that can support a two meter separation. It's inappropriate to shut down all business just because they're considered essential or not. All people are essential. All work is essential, all income is essential, especially if you're in poverty. Second, open all public spaces so that people can go outside and exercise. Third, repeal and forgive all of the six million dollars in illegal fines that cops are giving to families just trying to play with their children. Right. Third and uh, fourth and final, Doug Ford should not be able to get away as a provincial politician by canceling four charter rights. Section 2, Section 6, Section 7, and Section 8 are violated by his emergency order that did not go through a legislative process. So those are my four demands, and I really hope you agree with it. Please go to change.org forward slash set Ontario free and sign if you can. Beauty. Thank you, Mr. Joe. Thank you. Awesome. Um, any other final thoughts on what's going on? No, just more people should come. Okay, cool. Uh, until parks are open, 
your your freedoms are curtailed. I got you. I'm also I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting emails from people so we can keep in touch. We sure. can win the offline info war as well. Do you want to scratch yours down? Uh, I prefer not. No, just, okay. Just because I don't, don't want to be it. contacted as an individual. No, don't worry about it, man. Listen. But if you want to go talk to me on the the petition, yep. please do. Will do, Mr. Joel. Yeah. Well, listen, as long as we as long as we respect each other, Absolutely. everything goes fine. Absolutely. So I was awesome. I was talking to people earlier today, and I don't wish any harm on anybody. And the tragedy that some families are going through is truly horrific. Yep. But I also feel for families that suffer with a cancer patient or a heart disease patient right. or all these other diseases that are inflicting supreme damage on our on our people and our economy that don't necessitate a shutdown of business. Right. Um, there's a severe disconnect in the thought process and the reasons for actions. There needs to be some proportionality in decision making. Totally agree. Totally agree. Thank, thank you, you Mr. Joe. And thank well. you for your petition, man. Hopefully, uh, yes, yeah, set Ontario free. All four points, by the way, I do agree with. They make sense. Joel is a proud, patriotic Canadian man. It's a pleasure meeting him. And uh, keep up the good fight. Thank you, sir. Cheers, brother. Have a great day. You too. <clears throat> Woo. I got to put on my gloves. It is getting cold. Or it's, it is cold. It's getting colder. All right. <clears throat> How you doing, folks? Anything to share with the uh, with the camera? Uh, no. Yeah, right. is that globalism? No communism. Freedom of thought. Freedom of speech. I'm no to Trudeau. Corrupt government censorship. No to Gates. I love my freedom. And young lady, my education is corrupt. Well, we'll fix that for you, young lady. You seem like a sweetie. I refuse to be brainwashed. That's awesome. You're going to grow up a better young lady for it. Awesome. And sir, what do you got? I am native. I have rights. You're damn right. We all do. And we need to take care of everybody. And you are part of that everybody. So thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, folks. Cheers. How you doing, mate? Anything to say to, uh, to the people of Canada? Well, basically, uh, a lot of times protesters make a racket but don't make sense. 